<laughs> oh, that was, and I had to really, with that particular song, Good, Good Loving, uh -huh. I had no idea that Darlene Love had recorded it. Yeah. And when, when I got, when Nick Patrick uh, sent it to me from London, and he says, I, he said, Margaret, this is you. And when I heard the song, it was played over and over. I had to play it three times, and I said, when this crazy world has got me going, when I'm feeling hung up and strung up tight, when I just feel like crying, cause nothing's satisfying, I know what I gotta get to set me right, baby. All I need is your good, good loving baby. That will pick me up until I count to ten, something like that. I had to listen to it at least three times to realize that it was me. I realized, I said, oh my God, that's me. You know, I didn't realize it. And then after reading uh, uh, certain things in the book, uh, certain books that I see that people are writing about a lot of the girl groups, and I'm, I'm saying that Darlene Love uh, recorded it, and you said somebody else? Bobby Hebb, who sings, it's on the Sunny album. Wow. Now I'll tell you something else that no one knows. Bobby had a tour with the Beatles in 1966. And we'll talk to you, but this, this pertains to you. So Bobby's touring with the Beatles, doing their final tour. Because Sonny's the hit of the 66, and the circle's on the bill. And he's doing Good Good Lovin'. Oh, wow. So I had to hold myself back from singing along with you because... You could have. <laughs> they had a documentary tape two years ago that was going up on auction, and they called me in to hear the Bobby Hebb tape to isolate the songs. I said, well, that's... Darlene loves good, good loving, yeah, and, and, and he opened for the Beatles with the tune. I mean, you know, that's amazing, Margaret. Yeah. So, uh, um, I, who wrote that? I think it's Cynthia Well and Barry Mann. And I Cynthia think you're Bell. absolutely right. They, they wrote it because I did it. Uh -huh. uh, I believe I went to their house, their apartment, to do it, it would do, uh -huh. to record it. Uh, no, they asked me to come to learn the song in their apartment, and then we went in the studio and just put it down for a demo. Uh -huh. But I had no idea that. You know, a lot of stuff that the cookies did that are out that you'd be surprised. Mm -hmm. you really would be surprised. surprised. <laughs> wow. I know they got a lot of stuff and they put it on the shelf. They do. You know? Now is the or material they sell it to, to uh, other, other artists. Mm -hmm. yeah. They do. Oh yeah. They do. Sundays does a lot of reissues. Uh, do you know yes. who's reissuing cookies? Um, um, Sundays or Wounded somebody, Bird? Yeah, Sundays don't have the cookies. I already asked them because they, they, they have ours. Oh. And I called uh, Tim. Tim, and Tim. Tim yeah. He's know? great. Yeah, okay. he said we don't have the cookies, you know. Mm -hmm. So, But you, some guy approached you. I think it, he said he got it from uh, uh -oh. Amazon. Amazon.com. I, I looked on the computer and it is. It's a lot of stuff on it's it. On it's, about three, okay. it's about three uh, CDs so that's that I saw. Yeah. 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 Wow. That, that, that's and important. when I looked at some of the songs, I said, where did they get all these songs? You know what I'm saying? Some of the songs are, uh, that they're out, that are put out. Like I said, like I was telling Barbara before, they put all this stuff out on a, a bogus name. We never knew about the Palisades and the, the honeybees and the, uh, what was the other one? I, I, somebody did their song names that they had out under the cookie. You know, like the, the one song that we did, um, Baby, I Still Love, I Think I'm Gonna Cry. Cause once you love me, oh, I like and I told you goodbye, it's me. And I'm saying, well, la, 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 I love that one. I, really do. I, do. I love the other one too. I never dreamed. I never dreamed. All those songs that were stuff. so, and you know, just like the, they, we did uh, on Broadway. You know who they who they gave it to the Drifters? Yeah. They changed. You know, everybody know that. You yeah. Know? Yeah. But when we did it, it was. Uh, oh, that's a hit. That's a hit. Turn around, and gave it to the Drifters, <laughs> the Drifters and changed the whole thing around. Yeah. But that's okay. You know, I'm glad they, they made a hit for them. You know. Yeah. How'd you and Barbara? And Roxanne all get together for Well, this. you, I think you should talk to Bob about okay, that. Okay, all right. That well, particular part, we, we just met at a, a, a Nassau Coliseum, and we were doing, like, some of the background for some of the artists on the show. 
I think think your mom was, was on the show. Had a heart to heart. Heart to heart. heart. They were fundraisers for Heart to Heart. And one was for Laverne Baker. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. One was yeah. for oh, uh, Richard Nader. Oh, oh. We did one for him. And then his wife for, uh, got uh, oh. died in the fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did a. Yeah. 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 And so we met doing that. And she was with her original girls. <coughs> but she, and the next year they, they tried it again. But I don't think they got the sponsors that they, they wanted the next year. And they just asked us to come and do background. So Barbara said to me, uh, well, can you give me your number because, you know, if I ever need you, are you working? I said, no, I'm not doing anything. And I told her that the ladies was just here for that particular show like that year, last year, that year. And, um, and I said, I can put my number. I said, call me because I'm not doing anything, you know. She didn't call me right away. You know? <laughs> I think she waited about a year later. She took. She about a year later. She called me. She said, "Mom, what is Bob?" I said, "Oh." I said, "When I saw her number come up on my TV, you know, because I got the cable where your name comes up." I said, "Bob, who is that?" And I said, "Hello." She says, "Margaret." So I said, "Yeah." She said, "Do you remember it, Bob?" I said, "Yeah." I said, "You finally called me." <laughs> Thing ever happened to me. Oh. That's my sister, her and Roxy. I love them both. So no, it's, it's magical. Yeah, really yeah, we, yeah. We, we, we get along so good. It's like a family thing, you know. I, I don't say things to impress. If um, <laughs> if the band wasn't great, I wouldn't say a thing. Yeah. Okay. The it's magical. It's yeah. you've got the chemistry. It's and it were in the in audience. The band, mm -hmm. yeah. We all like sisters and yeah, brothers. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, the voice. I'll actually tell you how we met. Yes. <laughs> okay. The voices blend so perfectly. Yeah. It, it's, it's 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 awesome. Thank you. And know, you know that, something? We got to get it tighter, though. You know, wait till we get it where we don't have any flaws. Now, see, I didn't. Ooh. Come on. I, I, only I review know. music. Only part. we know. Yeah, only yeah. we know. <laughs> okay. Only but, we know. Uh, we I listen. Working on it. I listen differently than the rest of them. You know yeah, that because yeah. I write the reviews. Yeah. Come on, I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. <laughs> so they, 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 you know, That's good. that was an awesome. I'm doing the camera and I'm hearing the response and saying that girls gotta love this because they loved you and it was yeah. like whoa. Yeah, it was. That's good. I'm That's all we like. We like yeah, that. That makes you feel like it's all worthwhile. Yeah. What an acoustically perfect place. It's underutilized. It's yeah. a, this this hall is underutilized. Wow. It's just yeah. so beautiful for like it a is. PBS special yeah. art. It is. Yeah. It is. Yes. Yes. Yeah, the sound was good. Yeah, the sound was good. Yeah. You can hear yourself good. very good. You can hear yourself good, yeah. Mm -hmm. They refurbished all the seats. Oh, they really? did? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so they put a lot of money in here, the city of Medford. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I live. I can walk to my house. Wow. wow. I mean, when Barbara's coming yeah, on my birthday, me, huh? it's like. What? <laughs> Happy birthday. Barbara's coming to town. <laughs> She's coming to my my house. I can walk to see Barbara. I mean, that's too funny. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. We couldn't have planned it. <laughs> right. You know? Yeah. And um, I do a lot of writing, as Barbara will tell you. So I'd love to talk more, to, uh, you know, when you, I don't want to take up your night. Mm -hmm. um, and we do the Friday night show, The Call In. So if you want to call and oh, give sure, my number. Sure, I'll get it from you. Yeah, and um, sure. you can always bother us seven to nine. We talk about anything. Uh -huh. yeah. okay. It's just two hours a week and we have yeah. fun. That's good. Great. That's the main thing. We have fun doing it. Yeah, yeah. But we it, have fun doing what we do. Um, okay, a couple more cookies and we'll go on to Barbara and then Roxanne. Um, I don't want to do too much on the cookies because I know it's out there, but when did you all form? Just um, I would audience. say how many months back? No, no, I mean the cookie, the original cookie. Oh, the original cookie? Yeah. Oh. Just for our audience. We were, we were um, in high school, and Cousin Dorothy, Cousin Bueller were the original cookies, and Earl Jean's sister. And they did a lot of background and uh, a lot of some recording. And then in 19, in the 50s, well, they started out in the early 50s, but then uh, Darlene and um, uh, Jean, Earl Jean's sister, Ethel Darlene, um, went with Ray Charles to become Ray Lips. My cousin Dorothy couldn't go at the time because she was pregnant, so G Errol Jean and I used to listen to the rehearsals. So we stepped in with Dorothy, and that's how we started with the change. So we did a lot of background. The Neil Sedaka got in touch with Dorothy and said he needed the cookies to do background. She said, I don't have nobody. Then she remembered us, the young girls from school, her cousin, and so she. Uh, Ask us and we did. You're on Neil Sedaka records. Oh yeah, all, oh. most of his stuff. Breaking up his heart. Benny King. Yes. Breaking up oh. his heart to do. Don't take your love. She puts it in a shelf. Yeah, and one.
One, two, three. Let me Oh, I love that song. Oh, that's how I love cookies. Oh, yeah. And don't play it no. Oh, that's Benny King. Um, um, Black Girl on the Bottom. Locomotion. No. Locomotion. Oh, Little oh. Eva. Wow. Uh, we did a most of uh, Eva's background, most of it. Uh, uh, Blame about to know the cookies did that, <laughs> and we did. I'm Eating coming home, baby, Eating with uh, right. what's his name, uh, uh, Mel Torme. Oh, yeah. We did. I'm coming home, baby. That was We're a nice home right too. away. Yeah, I like we did that. that. We, uh, we did with him, and we did so much. I can't even name it on my fingers and toes. You could do a you could do a show like a Ray Davies storyteller where you you all tell your story. Yeah. Barbara's on the Navy Blue record, right? Okay. Are you on on that yeah. with Diane Renee? I think so. Because it was she was the first one we backed up. I think. You backed up we Diane backed Renee. Up, yeah, we, we got with Bob. And the first one we we backed up the Cookies backed up the first background we did was Tony Orlando. Mm. Uh, uh, what was his song? Uh, uh, not three times. Uh, no, 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 no. This was before he was younger. No, no. No. Uh, uh, I'm only right. halfway All to paradise. So near, but so far away. Uh -huh. Before he formed on. Before, yes. Yeah, this right. is before that. He was a little chubby, cute little chubby boy, <laughs> young boy, about 17, 18 years old he was at the time. And wasn't he a songwriter? Yeah. Um, no, I think we were just a singer. Oh. And Carol, I thought it was Carol trying and Jerry uh, got us to do the background for him. You know, oh. Neil got in touch with Dorothy anyway. You know. It was Neil Sedak was doing, you know, oh. starting us with that. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. So you're on most of the Nancy Dacca hits. Yes, yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. Yeah, he wrote too, though, I think. Didn't yeah, he, he, he did. Yeah. Oh, he he Neil's a lot. Neil's a big time person, yeah. Connie, oh. please. Yeah, yeah. Carol yeah. King and Jerry yeah. Goffin. And, oh, yeah, you know, Captain yeah. Neil did it. Yeah. Love will keep us together. Yeah. Love, love. Oh, yes. He had that huge yeah. comeback. As we did a lot of uh, uh, background for him on things that he was writing for probably other people. But we did the background, and they, you know, I'm sure they sold it to other people. Yeah. Can't even name them. So, you know, a lot, so much, so much stuff we did. Well, I want to talk to you more, and um, I'll make sure I'm calling. You. Cookies ever come to Boston? If we come to Boston, I'll make sure. I'll That'd be her. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> cookies and toys. You could do a show, and you could well, do you know what? Everybody the toys. keeps saying that. You know. <laughs> Barbara, you know, if everybody keeps saying it, we got to look into that. Oh, I mean, there are a lot of fans that, that are into that era. And um, they did a good job promoting because when Shirley was here last time, it was okay. And when the Marvelettes came, it was lukewarm audience. Really? Although it's the Marvelettes all look like daughters oh, really? of the Marvelettes. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. No, 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 original. No, 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 original. It's like a... Young young girls. Yeah. We ran into them too. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm Jack Colombo's wife. Oh. And we're rolling. Barbara Harris is back on Visual Radio. All right. Barbara, thank you for coming to town on my birthday. Oh, I, man, we couldn't have planned it at a better time, right? In my hometown. What do you think of our hall? Beautiful. The Chevalier. Really beautiful. I couldn't see out once we went out. They couldn't see him. Well, it looks like a, a great crowd, though. I oh yeah, it is. Yeah, it. I'm very impressed. Yeah, good, good. Because it's a beautiful charity. Room. Yeah. It's a charity event for uh, I think the vocational. Oh okay. Oh yes, that's right. Yeah. Jack was telling us. Very good. And I think they're doing very, very well. There was a crowd of people outside. Very good. I'm and glad. They they adored the toys. What a set. <laughs> Thank you. Thank precision. You. I mean, absolute precision. It's well, we're working on it. <laughs> but the pacing. Uh, River Deep Mountain High. Was that the Tina Turner version or the Supremes version? That was the. Oh. Supremes no, and the Four Tops did it. Uh, yeah. I think it's more word. like a Dolly Loves version. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's the one um, I listen to. I heard Tina's, it's good too. Yeah, the Phil Spector thing. Heard, uh, yeah, and I heard the uh, Supremes uh, and the Four Tops. I think, yeah, they, they, they all of them together. together. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that, that was good too. That hit in America, but Tina Turner's hit in England. In England. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But not here. And Darlene Love's hit over here too. I remember her doing it a while back. Oh, I, I don't recall. Yeah, she, yeah. Did, a, she did a good, good job on it. Dar you know what's great about Darlene, and we'll get back to you, but Darlene, every Christmas she does like the uh, the, the Tonight yeah. Show, yeah, or the Letterman Show, one of them, and you yeah. can go on YouTube, and yeah. you can go year by year, and she's just terrific she, every she, time. Oh yeah, she gets better. Every yeah. year she gets better. She does a, a Christmas uh, show in, uh, 
I think it's New York too. Every Christmas they her and uh, Ronnie Spector. Uh, I think they get together and they put on a show somewhere in the village. I've, I've heard of a few times, but I never got to see it. Yeah. Now, do you go looking on YouTube for your material? Oh, yeah. Do sort of the fans put stuff up? Yeah, oh, my so. husband puts stuff up <laughs> <laughs> on me. He puts a lot of stuff up on me. But uh, we look at uh, YouTube all the time. They got such great stuff on there. It's like amazing. Everybody. Oh, yeah. And right. Shaka Khan. Oh, my God. She's phenomenal. We look at some of hers. And, and now he started looking at uh, Funkadelic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Kenny, I, I, I wake up. Cause he goes to bed early sometimes, right? And then he'll get up like 12 o'clock, and I'm getting ready to go to bed. <laughs> and at about one o'clock, I hear all this music, and he's just sitting there to my whoa, whoa. So one o'clock in the morning, I'm saying, what is it? What are you doing? He's listening to Parliament Funk of Delhi. Tell me, these guys are great. Why are you listening to this? <laughs> I'm trying to sleep by now. But um, YouTube, oh man, phenomenal. Well, you know, for us record collectors, I grew up memorizing what records you were putting out, and then YouTube just throws it all away because it's stuff you've never even seen yes. on record. Yes. And it's yes. like, where do they find these things? Right. <laughs> but it, that is so great because we get to see, you know, we get to see some of the artists that you don't normally see. You know, everybody's putting their stuff up on me, I guess. You, you do that. But yeah. You get to see a lot of stuff that you don't normally see. There's a bass player in the Netherlands, I think. She lives in the Netherlands, and Kenny loves her. And this girl plays the bass like a guy, and she sings with it. Wow. Phenomenal. Little young girl, too. I said, wow. Last time we spoke on camera, you were working with someone from overseas in France? Yes. Now, do you make some new records? Well, we did, we did four songs with him, and he Keep sending music, but we just <laughs> got kind of busy, so we didn't do any more. But we keep in touch with him, and um, I don't know, uh, uh, we haven't spoken to him lately, but every now and then he'll send us an email, say, I got something good, and we put it together. He likes disco, because he said disco is still very big over there. So we did we did four songs with him. We completed four songs with mm -hmm. him. And he put, he put a couple out over there. That might be playing over there too, I don't know. <laughs> you know? But um, I'm yeah, glad his I name is Phil Acostanza. Oh. And he was a keyboard player, young guy. Phenomenal. Oh my God. He has such great music. Spaced out a little bit, but <laughs> it was great. Ask really him to good. put it on YouTube. Maybe we can all hear it. Yeah, you know, we should. We should do that. So he travels and, and plays too. He tried to get us to come over there to do a tour with him, but we just couldn't get the time. He wants to come for a few months, you know. Couldn't get the time. Have the toys toured Europe recently or? Recently, no. 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 But it would it'd probably be a fun thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. England, Germany, Australia. Always. It's a lot of fun. But you're doing, now this, the band you had here is a different band than backing everyone up. No, well, we had our three guys. We oh. have uh, Kenny on the bass. We had our drummer, Andrew and our guitar player, Charlie. Okay, I knew Kenny was so, on the bass, so I, I yeah. thought that they were augmenting, but the no. keyboard player is the same for every band. Yes. Okay. Yes, he's not really our keyboard player, we okay. just used him. Oh, so that's the, so what are the names of the toys? Um, what's the drummer's name? The drummer's name is Andrew Mack. M-A-C-K? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And um, the guitar player? Charlie Rivers. R oh, that's easy. Mm -hmm. Andrew Mack, Charlie Rivers. Now, when you play, who's on keyboards? We hire different guys. Oh, okay. We have a, a one guy we like in particular, and we can't get him that much because he works a lot. His name is George Tizio, and he used to play for uh, Larry Chance and the Earls. Oh, okay. Now he's playing for Jay and the Americans. Jay and the Americans, my friend Marty Coopersmith. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, they were just on my TV show. No kidding. Because I knew Marty back in the 80s, and I'm so happy. It's a phenomenal story how they all got back together. I don't know if you know. No, I didn't. Jay Black sold the name. Well, oh, he did. Huh? Well, he, did? He, he was in bankruptcy, Jay Black. Oh, so the original guys the went out and auctioned, and the auctions go that the original people have first dibs. Okay, yes. Uh -huh. So as they told me on camera, they're not supposed to see who the other bidders are, but they looked and they saw the name, and they went and checked his van out. It was a Jay and the Americans copy band, and they hired him to be the lead singer. Wow. 
kid is. from the whole thing. So, but it's you, you know, Marty and and yeah, we saw Sandy them. And, you came that night, right? I think so. They were playing in. Um, is it Elizabeth? Was it Elizabeth or Roselle? Or, um, they had a they have a promenade. And uh, George was playing with them, so he invited us. Oh, oh okay. And we, yeah, we went and Roselle. they put on a good show. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Roselle. Yeah, either Lyndon or Roselle in uh, Jersey. Yeah. Good show. Mm -hmm. They tell, like, their history, you know, of, of how they got together and, and all the things they went through. Really very interesting. And you they stayed on for about an hour and a half. Yeah. At least. <laughs> but they really love it. You can see they yeah, really yeah. have the passion. I went still. up and did a song with them. What did you do? <laughs> I did uh, Stand By Me, I think it was. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. George said, uh, he said, come on, you want to do something? I said, uh, okay. <laughs> I, ain't never, I ain't too shy to get up there. <laughs> so I jumped up there and did Stand By Me. They, they looked at me and said, oh, you, you dress like us. Because I had the same colors on, I think it was. <laughs> and uh, it was so much fun. Now so I'm, much fun. I'm not holding you to it, but I will be at the Meadowlands in New Jersey and on uh, July 30th, 31st, and August 1st. Okay. Uh -huh. And and you know Margaret, you and Roxanne are all invited to the Rock Con. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. But that we had so much fun at the Beat Expo, and Charles said I'm going to do a bigger one. It's like okay. Yeah. So it sounds like it's going to be yeah. really big. It, it's it's just it's just intense. Spanky just walked away having a blast. She just said, "Wow," uh -huh. because. There was just so much love there. The fans coming oh, yeah. and getting autographs, and oh, it was yeah. just in, in total intensity. Wow. So he's doing it on a bigger level. Yeah. 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 It should be fun. Do you have toys, um, toy shows over the summer? Are you, can you talk about them yeah. now or not? Yeah. Uh, if I can remember. I know the... Um, mm, let me think now. Mm. That's okay. I don't want to put you on the spot. We yeah, just I'm trying fun. to think. I, I write them down because my memory ain't that great. But can we go to the <laughs> toys website? Yes. Okay. Yes. And, and I'm glad I asked. And, and I will ask if the cookies have a website too, but it's Barbara wow. Toys. Barbara's Toys? Uh-huh. Uh, well, you can just say put Barbara Harris the toys, you get it. Or Barbara's Toys dot net. That's yes. The, that's the uh, email address though. It's Barbara at Barbara's Toys dot net. The at sign, Barbara at Barbara's Toys dot net. But Barbara's Toys dot net will bring you right to the site. Yes. Okay, good. And people can see the dates and. Yes, yes. And the cookies are on my site for now. Oh, cool. Until we set up a, a you cool. know, a site for them. I'll put on pause. Sure do. Barbara Harris, okay. thank you so much for coming up here. Oh man, see, it was our pleasure. The the keyboard player, what's Jack? Jack Colombo. Jack Colombo. Uh huh. See, I told you you're incredible. <laughs> but that verifies yeah, he it. Loves, he loves us. He but you were. The, the band was great. Guy. Thank you. When you hit out of the park, someone's going to tell you, you hit it out of the park. <laughs> you did. <laughs> no, the sound check, I've had lot. tingles. Thank you. Oh, yeah, Barbara. I'm like, <laughs> you know, whoa. No, it made my, it was like, you know, I, I got to tell you, you, the three of you singing happy birthday to me, oh. and my mom and dad singing happy birthday on the telephone. <laughs> You made my day, yeah, <laughs> all of you, oh, the five great. of you. That's great. <laughs> I'm going to try to, it would be great to put a medley together, mom and dad and the toys. <laughs> 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 Roxy, Roxanne. Hi. Can I call you Roxy? Roxy's People call girl. you Roxy? I love Roxy. 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 I hope they're off. I think yeah, they're off now. I'll be right back. The story of how you all get together. Okay, I met Barbara, it was in 2003, at a little cafe called Little Green Leaves in Plainfield. And she had her, her group there, and I, you know, come in there and listen to different bands that come in there. I said, let me check out Barbara, but I didn't know this was the Barbara Harris that made out you too. It's a range, so. You thought it was the actress Barbara Harris. Yeah, this thought it was, you know, just the regular group. I wasn't really paying attention to to her name is right. so then she saw me and a lot of people I'm well known in Plainfield because that's where I live and they were telling her you have to meet Roxy Roxy's a singer too so when um, Barbara was singing you know songs she was asking people would anybody like to come up and sing so she said I have somebody out there in the audience named Roxy Roxy will you come up and do a song so she had me do Proud Mary by uh, Tina Turner and ever since then, she said, you know what, are you singing with anybody right now? And I said, no, not at the moment. She said, I'm going to keep you in mind. She said, I might be needing a, a female vocalist, and I'm going to, you know, let's exchange numbers. 
So she called me, I think it was um, during the fall of 2003. And she asked me, will I do a show with her? Uh, the first show will be in California. As a matter of fact, she asked me, will I join a group? I said, yes. Still I not known this is the Barbara Harris. And um, so when I did the first show with her, the big show in California, when I met the Drifters and the Classics and all that, and um, when we start doing How Gentle is the Rain, I said, boy, she sounds like the lady that really sings this song. They said, well, she is. That's, that's. I'm like, oh, my God. Oh my God, I was just like so, oh, enthused because when I was a little girl, I used to walk around the house singing that song, but I never thought, it's like a blessing, I never oh. thought that I would be singing with Barbara and, you know, all the doo-wop groups that I used to listen to when I was a little girl, you know, on television and the records my sisters used to play. Never thought to this day I would be doing the oldie stuff. Because I've been singing um, a long time. I have my own groups. I made a 12-inch club record called Got Another Love by Auntie Rocks in the 90s. Um, I was going to ask you. Yes. Okay, me and good. my husband, when I was married, we had a group together. And I made a couple of... Auntie know, Rocks. Auntie Rocks. R-O-X? R-O-X, I-E. Um, Auntie. Now that's that's the name I got for my nephews and my nieces. They said, sure, if you ever cool. make a baby, we're going to call you Auntie Rox, but I'd rather be called Roxy Rox instead. But the, uh, And I made a video along with the song, um, Got Another Love, by Auntie Rox in the 90s. Oh, so, um, and you toured with? With Barbara. Um, no, well, you toured with the Auntie Rox? Yes. Mm -hmm. Dance clubs and? Yeah, just, you know, like the regular clubs and, you know. Part two with Roxy, so... Did you practice with the toys before the California show? Yes. Oh, and then when you were practicing, you realized who it was? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, can I do this kind of stuff? You know, I'm used, you know, used to doing the R&B stuff and, you know, my own materials. I said, oh, I hope, I, I hope she likes me. I hope I fit in, you know, with the doo-wop circuit. And I haven't been with her now for eight years, and I'm enjoying it. I love her. She's very, very nice. And when we sing her song, it's like I get chills in the inside, and I just want to cry because I used to walk around the house singing, How oh, gentle is the rain. Never thought that I would be on stage with her. It's a blessing. She has an authoritative voice, doesn't she? Yes. Yes. Barbara's she, yeah. very, very nice. I love her dearly. That's my Barbara. <laughs> that, and, and I love, and I'll, I'll conclude, I love that you get to do some songs, too. Yes. It, 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 Barbara is so diplomatic. Uh -huh. Yeah. Letting, pe oh. letting people sing. Oh, yeah. Yes, we, our group you know, is so much oh, fun. You know what I feel? Everybody, God gave each one of us a talent. And you're supposed to use that talent. You know, so everybody gets a chance to show their talent. That's what I feel. And, You're the and best. It works. It works yeah. out. Yeah. It makes it better too. It makes the whole group better. Yeah. And it's so much fun. We we are called the high energy ladies. We're high energy. High energy. High energy ladies. They say, where do you get that energy from? We say, we just. It's just a natural thing. Some shows you say, oh, they're going. They're wearing out. They're welcome. You people play too short. You wanted more. You wanted <laughs> that's more. what they tell us. They yeah, that, you leave them wanting, and that's good. That's a good thing, because now, you know, I think you left them wanting for more. Oh. No, nah, yeah. I'm, I'm just yeah. saying it's a, wow. Well, that's wonderful to hear and to know. Roxy, thanks. I hope to see the toys again. Okay. Soon. Well, thank you.